So the Duchess of Sussex claimed in this Netflix documentary series that her advisers advised her to not wear the same colours as more senior members of the royal family, i.e. do not stand out. Now this was in total contradiction to what we saw last week at the carol service at Westminster Abbey, which coincided with the release of the final three episodes of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary series, where we saw the Princess of Wales. We saw Princess Charlotte, we saw Zara Tyndall, um, who is the late Queen's granddaughter, and even Kate's sister, Pippa Middleton, wear burgundy, a very festive colour, but nonetheless the same colour, which totally contradicts what Meghan Markle says is royal dress protocol. So many have questioned whether this was the royal family's deliberate attempts to undermine what Meghan Markle said in this documentary series. In my experience, nothing in the royal family happens by accident. But was it a deliberate attempt by the royal family to undermine Meghan? I doubt it. I don't think they would stoop that low to have this Hollywood style tit for tat exchange with Meghan Markle. Kate's focus, at least, and the royal family's focus was very much on this carol service, shining a light on communities across the UK and paying tributes to the late Queen Elizabeth II. However, I do see a situation, and I can imagine, members of the royal family are becoming increasingly frustrated by Harry and Meghan appearing to overshadow a number of important engagements. Now, reports this morning suggest that the royal family are baffled that Harry and Meghan are demanding an apology following what they said in the documentary series. This has not been confirmed by Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace. They are very much staying silent. And I think for the king, at least, his focus is very much on preparing for his first festive speech, which will be broadcast on Christmas Day.